you, you mentioned Woody Page, who obviously is a, a big part of what cold pizza was and and the start of first take. And I, I, um, that reminded me of, there's a story that I saw that Woody has, has told that he said he and Skip Bayless got into a, a literal physical fight because off camera, because Skip was, was bragging about having more sex than Woody in his life. So did, were, did you happen to be around for that exchange? Oh, yeah. and is it, is it true? Yeah. There are parts of it that are true. Um, the part that <laughs> I had a coworker, a mutual coworker that sent me a script only. It was a text version. I didn't see him telling this story. I yeah. just saw the text version of it. Um, and there was a lot of embellishment in that, but that's the beauty of Woody. Woody is a storyteller. Woody is the guy in the room that commands an audience wherever he goes. He loves to hold court. And when he has an audience, he knows how to keep them. Um, he's just, you know, Woody is one of the truly most giving people I've ever known. Um, and I, when I say giving, I mean, he hates to see anybody suffer. Uh, when there was a terrible hurricane in New Orleans, when we were working together, Woody owned a place in Florida somewhere. And he reached out to organizations to find out how he could open his residence in Florida to a family from New Orleans that had been displaced from the hurricane and was in great need. He found a single mother with a couple of kids and no help and moved them into his Florida residence and didn't do it for, nobody even knew about this. He didn't publicize it. He only told his closest friends about it, but that's Woody Page. He is just a kind, caring, giving person. On the actual story where they came to blows and I think it said they ended up outside the studio on the New York City streets, like <laughs> that's not exactly how it happened. But I still got a big kick out of reading it, being there and watching it firsthand because what happened in the meeting, it just randomly came up. Skip somehow leans back in his chair and he said, I've had more sex than everybody in this room. And we were all looking at him like, first of all, what kind of thing is that to say? You know, like I said, we're not in junior high. Um, <laughs> secondly, apropos of nothing we were talking about, um, Woody may have been, you know, bragging about a conquest or something. And Skip just shoots him down by saying, you have no idea. And so <laughs> from that point, it comes up on the air which stunned me, but Woody would do that. Woody would take the thing that should have been left in the meeting room and bring it to TV. Sometimes it was gold, sometimes it wasn't. But in this particular case, somehow it got brought up on, and I'm just sitting there between them going, what are we going to do now? And the way I remember it, and it's been years, um, the way I remember it, they sort of came together like in a jostling for the cameras kind of way. Like, you know, just sort of, you know, grabbing each other. And, and, and then <laughs> Woody had this thing that he always used to do where he would trip on purpose on camera for a response. Um, he would just, he was, you know, he was really good at drawing attention to himself. And I think what Woody did for the cameras as we were going to commercial break was he tried to make it seem like it was more than what it was. But we went to commercial break and then it got not serious, but they were kind of tussling. But it didn't go outside the studio, outside the green room, right. outside the our, our uh, Manhattan offices into the streets of New York. Like it was nothing even close to that. But his version was pretty entertaining. Yeah, still still quite the story. But I still um, love the guy. 